is up you guys, it's Anthony Munda. Thank you for clicking on the video, really appreciate your support. As you see, I'm in the gym, super excited about that man, because I call myself an online fitness coach, but uh, haven't been in the gym yet, so I'm super excited to bring this content to you guys. Uh, so the first video I'm gonna do is kind of a, a very uh, misutilized, uh, a lot of people do this exercise wrong, the barbell row. Okay, so the reason it's good is because it's an overall, like excellent mass builder uh, for the back. Um, it's a very good comp compound exercise, but a lot of people are doing it wrong. So basically what I'm, what I'm going to do is like a glorified how-to, but we're going to go through how people do it wrong and how you can correct those so you can get the most out of the movement, do it as safe as possible, and you know, so you can look right, get yourself right. Alright, so let's go over a few things here. So I like to start it, start the movement with the bar on the rack so that you don't have to pick, up, pick it up from the ground every time. So if you can't do that, it's totally okay, but it's easier on your back, okay? So you gotta keep that in mind. All right, so a couple things here. You want your grip to be, so come on close. You want your grip to be about uh, shoulder width apart, maybe a little more here, um, very similar to the bench press. Um, it doesn't have to be anything specific, but as you do it more, you're gonna get a better feel for it. But shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider, Double overhand is usually how I prefer it, so just like this here, okay? So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna rack it off, I'm gonna take the weight off, I'm gonna take a couple steps back. All right, so first of all, we're gonna go over a couple ways that people kind of mess this movement up. All right, so the first one, and I'm sure you've seen this done in your gym, is they go like this here. So it's bouncing your knees. I literally, I literally had to practice that in front of my mirror last night because like it's so not programmed within me to not do that that uh, I, I literally had to practice it because I knew I was doing this today. But uh, so you see that a lot. So what that does, the reason people are doing it, it's obviously because they want to move more weight. But let's don't get it twisted. Like you gotta, you've heard this before. You gotta leave your ego at the door, right? Um, it's not doing any good. So basically, when you're Doing this little knee kick here, this little bounce, and I'm sure you've even seen people do this with like curls. Um, you're basically just shortening the range of motion and you're utilizing a lot of momentum. Okay, so obviously when you do those two things, you're not gonna get as most, you're not gonna get uh, as much out of the movement as you usually would. Okay? So you want to take the momentum out of it and you want to utilize full range of motion, okay? So this would look like this, okay? You're gonna do a little like half squat here, and then you're gonna bow over, okay? And you're gonna fully extend your arms, okay? See how I'm not here, so you can see a lot of this too. That's actually, that's right there is actually how you probably see it in every gym, like that, okay? Not doing a whole lot for your back or for really for anything. The only thing you're doing probably is just lift a little bit more weight than you usually could Nobody cares, all right? We want to get the most out of the movement. So take the weight down, do the movement right. Okay, so what you're gonna do, again, do a little half squat here. You want your knees slightly unlocked. You want to bow over, okay? Arms fully extended, okay? Now another mistake people make is they tilt their head up while they're doing it. Okay, you gotta keep in mind, you gotta keep in mind with that, you're head and your neck is part of your spine, okay? So when you're down here and you're doing it like this, you're taking your spine out of alignment, so you're putting your body at risk for injury. Um, it's just not a very fluid movement, okay? So let's keep the first couple things in mind. A little half squat, bow over, arms fully extended. Now, a lot of people want to look at themselves in the mirror. I get it. Maybe for the first couple reps, that's okay. But after that, okay, your head should be basically down. This is how it should look. It's very strict. And you're going to notice you're not going to be able to do as much weight. That's okay. You're getting more out of the movement, and that's all that counts. Okay, so let's go through the whole thing again and so that you can get the most out of it. Little half squat here, bow over, 
arms fully extended. You're going to feel a lot of tension in your, in your legs and your hamstrings at first. Okay, spine neutral, which means your head's kind of looking at the floor a little bit in front of you. And you're going to pull it through your sternum. Okay, so your upper ribs or like, so either your upper ribs here or like between your belly button. Okay, you don't want to be pulling it towards your chest. You don't want to be pulling it towards your pelvis. Okay, a sweet spot is like right between the belly button and the sternum. Okay, right here. So let's go over the let's go over that again. This is how you usually see it in gyms, and this is not the proper way to do it. Okay? You're gonna see a little knee bounce here. Okay? You see that a lot of a lot of gym bros are doing. You know, a lot of people who they wanna they just wanna see other they wanna make themselves known to be lifting heavier weight. Look, right here, we don't care about all that, okay? You wanna get the most out of the movement and you wanna be safe while doing it. Okay? So the wrong one. Short range of motion, bouncing your knees. Okay? Hurts my back doing it. <laughs> Alright, now the correct way to perform the barbell row. And that's it, guys. Don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. Okay? You want to, you know, not utilize momentum, utilize the full range of motion, and do a proper weight. Look, with this, I mean, you see a lot of people try to do 225, 225 plus. Just start off nice and light and make sure you're doing form. You know, I know you guys hear that all the time from everyone, but with this one, it's so important because you're stabilizing your back here. There's nothing to stabilize your back. You're doing that, so you don't want to sacrifice... Um, you don't want to sacrifice form for weight, so make sure everything's on point here. Make sure you're doing it right so you can get like optimal gains and uh, be safe while doing it. All right, guys, so that's how to do the barbell row properly. Uh, make sure you're avoiding all those silly mistakes that you see a lot in your gym. After you watch this video, you'll probably notice it a lot more in your gym, just like I do. Cringe a little bit, whether you want to say something or not. Not up to me. Hey, man, I still don't do that, so I wouldn't recommend it. But anyway, guys, I hope you learned from this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video down in the gym. Um, I really enjoyed doing it as a nice little change of pace. Um, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.